against um, that attack in, in these conditions, just how good was that knock by the ship today? Yeah, I think it was, you know, um, fabulous to look at. The way he go about his innings, the way he gets set, um, you know, while he's while he's playing in itself, in you know he he still knocks the ball around and 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 picks picks up singles, twos, and so on. Um, you know, before you know it, you know he's twenty or thirty or and you know that's that's the sort of approach you know um our team, or the young guys, including myself. You know that's that's the sort of approach. Um, you know, looking at how the mental side of his game. I think 90% of his game is mental, you know, because, you know, he's not one to come and blast the bowling around. So it's obviously waiting for the deliveries, you know, um, you know, having that, that patience. And, you know, I think he has the right setup to make runs in these conditions. You know, it, he allows the ball to come onto the bat. And um, we, you know, um, everyone can take a page out of his book. Have you tried setting yourself up with both feet facing that one? And looking under there? <laughs> Is it way to go? Well, I guess, you know, um, every player has their own way of going about things. Um, you know, he's obviously, in the, in, for someone who has scored, you know, to be in the 10,000 run club, you know, he's obviously, you know, unique out of everyone in that, in that club. And, you know, that that's what makes him special, you know, because he has his own way about going about things. But... You know, at the end of the day, you know, his stance is, you know, in in an awkward position, but when the bowler is about to bowl, he gets right in, in into orthodox position, so, you know.